Hello. Occupy movement is over two months old. <clears throat> and I'm sure a lot of people didn't expect it to go this far or to be this successful in its appeal. However, it has had predictable consequences. Police brutality has been going on since people went into the streets in the 60s. It is nothing new. It is not unexpected. And it is a consequence of stepping on the toes of the establishment. Now, something to keep in mind is most of the policemen are part of what you call the 99% anyway. And so, despite a conflict of interest, most of them probably support you. The banks have had meetings and documents have been leaked on their plans to sabotage, derail, um, undo Occupy Wall Street through political means. They are treating you as if you are a political opponent and they are going to out-lobby you, they're going to outspend you, they're going to out-politic you. The Occupy movement needs a focus. I'm not saying they don't have focuses and they don't have claims and they don't have demands and ideas for change, but it has to be a movement, not just... has to be a movement forward and not just a circular motion going around and around and around. This has all been done before. And a no motion where you just sit. Talking isn't going to help. They're out there for you. They're out there looking for you to come and get you. And I'm not saying you should be running scared. But I am saying you should walk away peacefully. You've made your point. The major cities have been occupied. What about the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of other cities in America that have yet to experience this expression of American liberty? They also need to be occupied. They are ultimately the ones who own the parks you sit in, um, pay for the streets to be there that you walk on, through their tax dollars. And if you actually want to undermine the establishment, go to the people with money. Go to the people who actually support the establishment, whether they want to or not. Occupy yourself. Occupy your hometown. Four or five big cities having an Occupy movement attracts a lot of people, it attracts a lot of attention, but it's weak in its structure. There are a lot of miles between Chicago and between New York City and between DC and between St. Louis and between LA, between Seattle, between Miami. There's a lot of distance and there's a lot of people and they're not being reached. They're not being protested against, I would say, because their support of the establishment is what you are protesting. Because it's not just you, and it's not just the establishment, but it's everybody. And unless you want to go the way of the actual 99%, which is 99% 90, of the species are extinct, and only 1% of the species that have ever existed still remain on the planet today. If you do not want to join that 99%, understand you are part of the 100%. We're all here on Earth. We all need air. We all need food. We all need shelter. We all need water. Including those who participate in the establishment willingly. If you want to be part of the establishment and you want what the establishment has, keep up what you're doing because they'll give it to you. The more you resist, the more violent they become. However, if you want what the earth has, if you want 
what life gives, you will share it. You will not force it upon yourself, your neighbor, or the establishment. That is what they do. The re revolution only makes the 99% the 1% and the 1% the 99%, thus perpetuating the cycle. General assemblies in every community is what you need, is what we need. We have to stick together. We have to be patient. This is going to take a long time. It took over 150 years to get women's rights, to get um, African American civil liberties. This isn't going to happen overnight. And this isn't just some tradition that people grew up with. This is money. And people will kill over money. And you are in the line of fire. Walk away. Occupy your hometown. Protest at places where everyday people go every day. Inform them of yourself. That is, you are an individual. You are an American citizen. You have certain inalienable rights. And you're a human being. You're an earthling. We're all here. And we all have to deal with it. So let's deal with it in peace.